Question mark column, Arc Magazine, Lincoln Electric. Question number two, which one's stronger, a MIG weld or a TIG weld? Well, the funny thing is, the filler metals that are used for both MIG welding and TIG welding are the same filler metal, ER70S-6-2. They make that filler metal on rollers, the MIG weld, they roll it out, they straighten it, they cut it in 36 inch lengths, and that's your TIG filler, right? So the big difference isn't in filler metals, it's in how that metal is transferred into the weld pool. With a MIG weld, it's instantaneous. The filler metal is the electrode. That's where the current flows through, that's where the arc is, and it's melting the filler into the puddle. It's very instantaneous, it's heat on, heat off. With TIG welding, it's a little bit different. The weld heats up a little bit slower, it cools a little bit slower. The TIG is a more precise, smaller arc. It's a lot more concentrated, precision. But the filler is not the electrode. The filler is fed in by hand. So it's different. The bottom line is, if the metal's prepped right, your technique is good and you know what you're doing, neither one is stronger than the other. It's all about application. So if you like these questions, you like these answers, check me out, Mark Prosser Welds on Instagram, and go get a copy of ARC Magazine, because there's gonna be more and more of these questions coming.